everyone. I'd like to thank all my loyal fans for continuing to watch my show, which is the highest rated and most exciting accounting show on the internet. I'm making accounting great again, and I couldn't do it without you. Today with me as a new guest, I'd like to introduce Doug Lebda. Thank you, thank you. I'm so happy to be here with you today, Ryan. It's so wonderful to finally meet you in person. I'm a big fan, a loyal listener. You're just a huge celebrity in my circle of friends, and everyone is jealous that I get to be on your show today to meet you. I'd actually like to grab an autograph a little bit later, if that's all right. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm great. We could have a whole show on that, but let's discuss accounting changes. I brought you in here today to discuss a proposed ASU that is off, hot off the press. On March 7th, FASB released a proposed ASU regarding some changes to not employee stock-based compensation. Can you give me some insights to the changes that the FASB is looking to make? Yes, absolutely, Ryan. Currently under U.S. GAAP, there's actually two different accounting models. Uh, one for non-employees under ASC 50550, formerly EITF 9618, and one for employees, ASC 718. Uh, which is formerly FAS 123R. Under the proposed ASU, the FASB is looking to substantially replace ASC 50550 with ASC 718. Why would the FASB do that? I kind of like ASC 50550. Well, upon reflecting on the two different models, the FASB believes there's no substantive difference between share-based payments to employees and non-employees. And since there's no substantive difference, there's no need to require companies to apply two different accounting models. Well, what are the differences? <laughs> I know you know the differences, Ryan, but uh, you know, for your viewers, uh, there's actually many differences between the two different models uh, that create differences in recognition, timing, and amount of expense. However, the primary differences are listed here on this slide. The measurement date, uh, differences in fair value techniques, which actually uh, typically result in higher fair value for non-employee awards, uh, requirements under 50550 to perform subsequent remeasurements, and then uh, there is also differences in attribution of compensation expense. Okay, great. So the FASB is going to fix everything and make everything align whether it is an employee or non-employee stock award. Well, not exactly, Ryan. What? Everything except attribution and then also for non-employee equity share options, the contractual term will still need to be used in valuing the options. Whereas, as you know, uh, for employee awards, the company will use the expected term in valuing the options. That difference could impact the fair value of the award as generally the contractual term is longer than the expected term and the longer period of time results in a higher fair value of the award. While the FASB wanted to make everything consistent uh, and eliminate ASC 50550, given the differences in performance that can happen between employees and non-employees, the FASB thought those two differences needed to remain. Interesting. So the main message is that basically all substantial differences listed on the next three slides will now be aligned to what is in current ASC 718 with the exception of attribution and using the contractual term as a fair value assumption. Yes, absolutely, Ryan. I'll likely share the last three slides with my clients and really highlight uh, how much the proposed ASU is changing things. And then also KPMG issued a short defining issue on the matter, DI-17-7, uh, that is a good read and handout for clients. Okay, great. So do you think it will actually save companies and clients' time? Absolutely, Ryan. With management only needing to manage one set of controls over one stock compensation model and methodology, it should definitely simplify things and save time as well. Phenomenal! I love this change in accounting. Simplification is just what we need to make accounting great again. Thanks for coming on the show today, and thank you all for tuning in. That's all for now. Until next time, stay classy, San Diego. I'll be back soon.